this time it's no longer about stealth. It's about high octane slice and dice action. Had your fill? With this body, I could take these guys with no eyes. Intel wasn't exaggerating on the cyborg count. Metal Gear Rising Revengeance is not your normal Metal Gear game. This is not about stealth and sneaking around. This is a high action, frenetic, fast paced hack and slash adventure game. Rising may be a different style game, but the storyline is still classic Metal Gear, meaning it's just as confusing as ever before. The storyline is complex but extremely enjoyable with great touches of humor and humanity. It has a few really poignant moments that elevate the story to greater heights than that of a normal action game. Also, you don't need any experience with the other games in the series to fully enjoy and comprehend the storyline. And I use the term comprehend lightly. It is a Metal Gear game after all. All those cyborgs you've killed up to now, maybe they weren't kids, but they were people. You ever think about them? when you're chopping them into hamburger. <laughs> Kojima delivers another excellent, well-written, and self-aware storyline. Rising is all about entertainment, and the gameplay utterly reflects this. Platinum Games has truly made one of the finest action games of this generation. The controls are extremely intuitive and easy to learn, and it makes Raiden's combat feel very fluid. His abilities are easily used by even the most novice players. But it offers enough complexity that experienced gamers will also enjoy the satisfying action. Paired with the extremely fluid animation and controls, you have the slicing mechanic, which allows you to slow down time and cut your foes in any way your sick mind wishes. Once you learn the timing, the action flows very smoothly. There is plenty of variety in both level and enemy design, offering plenty of locales to fight in and plenty of enemies to dissect. Boss battles offer very intense and cinematic moments. However, there are a few hiccups along the way. The platforming can be wonky. The game also has a few moments where you can sneak around and stealth kill your enemies or go unnoticed. The problem is, it's never really explained how you're spotted, or the proper way to employ the stealth mechanics. These sections are few, and you can just kill everything in sight, but it still feels like a missed opportunity. Graphically, the game looks fairly good. Some of the textures can be rough, and there are noticeable glitches, and the cutscenes do look a bit low resolution. However, it's very forgivable considering the engine is focusing on rendering the sliced and diced enemies and objects, allowing you to cut things into hundreds of tiny pieces. Rising is on the shorter side, lasting around 6 hours. However, you have additional VR missions to play, which will extend the gameplay. Also, paired with the extra weapons and abilities you unlock throughout the game, you'll definitely want to go back through it at least once more. Fans of the franchise will likely be split. If you're open to change in style, you will find a wonderful action game. If you're not, you will not like the new direction. If you're not a fan, you'll still want to check out Metal Gear Rising, as it's simply one of the best action games I have ever played. It's not without its flaws, but the entire game is just so damn fun, you won't care about them. As for AIs, we adapt as we learn, just as any intellect operates, man or machine.